Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's January 17th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm joined by Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Thanks for being here, Brian. Mm -hmm. uh, another strong week for municipals, over $2.5 billion of inflows onto municipal bond mutual funds. The investors keep coming. Uh, let's start uh, at the highest level. How did the market perform? Uh, really well. Uh, quite a week uh, as everybody was kind of uh, gearing up last week looking at this week's supply. We had over $9 billion come to the market. Um, and that was all well received, as you mentioned. Still another solid week of fund flows. Overall, rates uh, were were lower, uh, particularly in the front end. Uh, Five-year spot was down about 11 basis points <laughs> in yield. Um, longer end, uh, a little less so, at about four basis points. So we had uh, steepening and, and outperformance in the front in the five-year spot, and a little underperformance uh, out in 30 years. But over, overall, um, things got uh, things got. Uh, a really strong bid for for most of the week. So BAM was uh, in short a part of the uh, week's high, one of the most watched transactions of the week, the Chicago Sales Tax Securitization Corporation. Uh, how did the transaction go? Uh, really well. Yeah, the highlight of the week was definitely Chicago. Uh, they were in the market with a combination of GOs mm -hmm. as well as the sales tax securitization deal, uh, where they were tendering taxable GO bonds uh, with the with those proceeds. Um, they got better tender. Uh, results uh, and, and tendered more bonds. They upsized the um, uh, the GO series uh, on Wednesday and the, and the sales tax deal did phenomenally well on Thursday. So um, Phenomenally well. The bond buyer reported that it was oversubscribed by 40 times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, to that degree. So uh, we saw, you know, we saw even on the GO sale the day before, yields were lowered by about 20 basis points or so uh, from pre-pricing to repricing. Uh, and that was at uh, from tighter levels and pre-marketing. Um, so you saw a really, really strong response in the 10-year spot. Those ended up about plus 107 to MMD, which was about 60 or so basis points tighter than where they had come last year. Uh, on the follow, they did the sales tax deal, which, as you mentioned, was uh, super, super well received. Uh, th those yields got lowered by anywhere from 20 to 35 basis points uh, from pricing to repricing. Uh, BAM insured a pretty substantial part of the bulk of those transactions, we did about 143 million on the taxable series and about 73 million on the tax exempts. Uh, for the tax exempts, insurance was spread about 10 basis points for fives uh, and about 12 basis points for 4% coupons, um, and everything was, uh, was really well uh, oversubscribed. Great. Uh, beyond that transaction, about another $150 million of BAM insured transactions. Uh, what stood out? Yeah, uh, very busy week for us. Total, uh, we did over $360 million. Um, some of the highlights, uh, BAM's first corporate QCIP mm -hmm. uh, that we insured. Uh, R.W. Baird priced the taxable corporate QCIP for SUNY Buffalo student housing. Uh, outside of that, uh, Stiefel priced $25 million for Linwood USD in California. Cruz and Associates priced the deal for uh, University of Central Arkansas. That was about $20 million. And we priced a, uh, a, ta um, a tax-exempt deal for Hamlin County in Tennessee in the competitive market, which R.W. Baird purchased. So Not a lot of Tennessee transactions coming across. No, the yeah, fewer and further between, so diversity. diversification. Looking ahead, uh, total volume, I think, is going to be a little bit lower next week. It's a four-day week because of the MLK Day holiday. Uh, just about $6 billion market-wide. Um, what's on the BAM calendar? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, you know, what's out out there is anywhere from seven to eight billion or so, depending on what comes, uh, you know, on the things that are day to day and whatnot. But um, but should be a little bit slower uh, with the uh, with the shortened week. Uh, we've got slated already over 100 million uh, of bonds that are that are scheduled to price, and it'll likely come in uh, higher than that. But uh, highlights of the week uh, would likely be the Alabama uh, Muni Electric Authority, uh, which Fraser uh, Linear will price about 28 million next week. Uh, and one Green Star uh, transaction will come to market. Uh, Cruise and Associates is pricing about 16 million uh, water authority bonds uh, for uh, Southside Water Authority in, in Arkansas. And both of those transactions will be featured in BAM Credit Insights videos. Uh, the Alabama Municipal Electric Authority is handled by Vice President Jill Schmidt, and uh, Southside Public Water Authority is handled by Vice President Alexis Plata. So you can look at BAM's YouTube page and see both of those videos for a deeper dive into those two transactions. Uh, thanks again for being with us, Brian. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll talk to you next week and I'll let you know what uh, comes through the market. Will you get paid if an earthquake puts your municipal bond investment on shaky ground? Yes. Double A. Guaranteed. 
Is your municipal bond investment safe even if the next recession reduces public revenues? Yes, AA, guaranteed. BAM Municipal Bond Insurance protects against everything, from natural disaster and recession to fraud or cyber attack. BAM.